Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC that consists of this red quadrilateral as well as this yellow triangle as you can see in this figure. And moreover, these line segments AC, CD and DB are equal in length and now we are going to calculate the value of X. And let me make it one thing very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect points A and D. This is our point A and this is our point D we are going to connect. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's focus on this angle A we know this whole angle A is 26x. Let me go ahead and call this angle over here, this side angle, I'm going to call alpha. Then this side, this angle is going to be simply 26x minus alpha. Now let's focus on this quadrilateral A, B, C, D over here and we know the fact that this angle x is always equal to this angle alpha, this angle beta and this angle gamma as you can see over here. And now we are going to apply this rule on our given problem. That means our this given this angle is going to be equal to the sum of this angle plus this angle and then plus this angle. And if we add all these three angles, I have calculated this thing, they add up to 14x plus alpha. So that means this angle is going to be 14x plus alpha. And now let's focus on this triangle a, C, D. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle since A, C equal to C, D. So that means this angle is going to be equal to this angle. So let's go ahead and equate those angles. Let me just write down 26x minus alpha equal to 14x x plus alpha. So let me move this negative alpha on this side and move this 14x on this side. So we are going to have 26x minus 14x equal to alpha plus alpha. So that is going to give us 12x equal to 2 alpha. Let's divide both sides by so alpha turns out to be 6x. And now we can see that this angle alpha, we know that alpha is 6x. So I can write this alpha equal to 6x. Now let's focus on this triangle ABD. We know that this angle is equal to this angle. That's the reason why this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So therefore this side length will be equal to this length as well. So that means BD equals to AD. And let's focus on once again on this triangle ACD. We know that this is an equilateral triangle since all these three sides are equal in length. So therefore all these angles of this equilateral triangle are going to be 60 degree each. All right. Now let's focus on this angle 60 degree which is same as 14x plus alpha. Let me go ahead and write it down. 14x plus alpha equal to 60 degrees. And we know that the alpha is 6x. Let's go ahead and replace that one. 14x plus 6x 
equal to 60 degrees. So on the left hand side, this is going to become 20x equal to 60 degrees. Let's divide both sides by 20. So x turns out to be simply 3 degrees. So thus our x value turns out to be 3 degree and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.